130 AMR employees here in Pierce County are being laid off or transferred as a result of this decision. But firefighters are also concerned about how this will impact you in your time of need. Now they're going. They're going. He's going now. Fire officials are sounding the alarm. Transport times to get to someone's house might potentially be longer. But this time, the emergencies within their own four walls. Trying to understand why AMR is pulling out of the area. This fire department works hand in hand with AMR, a private ambulance company. AMR has contracts with hospitals who will call them up when they need a patient transported. From facilities like adult family homes, the VA hospital, Western State Hospital, where they're not set up for some of the more uh, different types of medical procedures. But with AMR seizing operations at the end of the month, these firefighters worry hospitals and homes will have no choice but to dial 911 to transport them. It could be somewhere maybe around 50 to 100 more calls per month. Uh, and if we're already doing anywhere from 1,000 to 1,200 calls, per month and you add another potential 10%, that's a lot. A lot on an emergency services system already treading water amid a pandemic. Doing those interfacility transports might also take us away from more emergent type calls like cardiac arrest or stroke or people that are having difficulty breathing. He expects more calls and the same numbers of staff and resources, stretching firefighters thin. More calls coming in through 911, so there's the potential for people that are trying to get through that do have emergency type calls and then they can't get through as quickly as, as maybe as they used to. If you live in the jurisdiction for Tacoma Fire, this may not impact you greatly. A spokesperson for Tacoma Fire tells me he believes this won't cause any big issues for community members that they serve. Reporting live in Pierce County, I'm Maddie White, King 5 News.